Right, so I wanted to talk to you about the um, AROMS full valve tool. Um, I've started selling these, they're in my eShop. Um, it's quite a nice little tool, it's quite quite useful. I'll show you how to use it now. Um, if you've got an AROMS and you want to work on um, either the full valve, if it needs a service, it might be um, leaking or, or what have you, um, or you might be wanting to fit a regulator and you need to get the rifle apart, they can sometimes be quite tight, the cylinders can. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure there is no air in the rifle. Um, you can do this by dry firing until it's um, basically not firing anymore, or you can um, crack off the um, pressure gauge, which um, basically just releases some air. As soon as you hear the air hissing out, Stop undoing it, wait for it to finish hissing out, just loosen it a little bit more just to make sure that it definitely is empty. Don't forget to tighten it back up before you come around to um, filling the rifle back up again, otherwise it's obviously going to leak. Um, right, so once you're happy there's no air in it, um, you can then take off the cap. Um, right, there are a couple of, well first of all get the um, barrel band out the way. Use a two millimeter Allen key. Just loosen that off. That should just slide off. There you go. Right, so that's that separated. Um, you can, there's a couple of options now. If you're wanting to strip the rifle down, then you would um, slide that on. As you've noticed, it's gone on over the um, T-bar fill adapter, uh, well the um, fill port, um, so you don't have to remove that first which is quite handy. Um, there is something to note here, if you just start undoing this now, there's a chance that instead of undoing this end, it might undo this end. Um, if you're wanting to strip the rifle down then obviously that's not, not a problem at all because you're going to have to get it all apart anyway. If you're just wanting to get this end off then it'll be a good idea to clamp this end in a in a vise with some soft jaws or, or a workmate with wooden jaws or something um, just to hold this end while you work on this end. Um, you can use I believe a 27mm spanner on here if you want to. I don't have a 27mm spanner. Um, but you can use an adjustable and like I said these are quite tight so you'll probably find that if I hold this end and turn this end there we go the cylinder is going to loosen this side which isn't a deal breaker for me because I have to strip this rifle down to fit a regulator um, but basically you do that and it loosens the cylinder I'll take this off just to show you the other thing that you can do with this little tool. Uh, one thing to note is if you um, aren't careful with whichever tool you use on this end, um, you may um, damage the finish on the on the barrel. So what you can do is um, you could pop a bit of card or something between the um, cylinder and the uh, barrel just to keep your tool away from the barrel. Um, you could put some tape in there or a bit of pipe, um, whatever you've got handy really. Or just don't turn your spanner all the way in to the point where it damages it. Right, that's the um, cylinder off. Um, the other handy thing is if you don't want to take the cylinder off but you need to service your um, fill valve, um, it's been designed so that um, when the tool's on, there is enough space here for you to be able to get a 10 mil spanner on to the um, onto the full. There you go. Um, obviously, if the rifle's still built, you can do this because it fits on without taking the whole thing off. Um, that's obviously loose now, so you can now take that off, service it, do what you need to do to it, and then putting it back on pretty much just a reverse. Um, if you want to tighten it up, you can tighten it like this, but. Um, I wouldn't recommend tightening it with spanners and things when it's on the rifle unless you only tightening it a bit um, because if you twist it then obviously you're going to twist the barrel band, you're going to twist the barrel and the breech and you could damage something so it, it, it is advisable to um, hold that with, um, you know, you could either hold that in a vise or use an adjustable or whatever 
to hold it while you uh, while you do the work. Um, so there we go, quite a useful tool. It's available from the eShop on my website. Um, there is also another Air Arms tool which I will do another video on and I'll upload as soon as I can. Thank you.